Majority of the people think that Jupiter rotates around the Sun, but it is not the truth. Actually, both the Sun and the Jupiter both rotate around the center of gravity between the Sun and the Jupiter. This is called the Berry Center of Sun and Jupiter. Jupiter takes 11.8 years to rotate around the Berry Center, and the Sun also takes the same amount of time to rotate around the Berry Center. If you were able to see it from above the solar system, the Sun will look like wobbling around only. The very center of Earth and the Moon falls below 1700 kilometers below the surface of the Earth. At our Earth and at other planets, in solar system, as we go higher in the atmosphere, the temperature comes down. But our Sun is an exception to it. The temperature of the visible surface of the Sun is around 6000 degrees Celsius. But the temperature of the atmosphere of the Sun is hundreds of times hotter. It is also called corona, where the temperature remains around a million degrees Celsius. There is a family picture which has been lying on the surface of Moon for the last 50 years. Charles Duke dropped this photo on the surface of Moon in April 1972, during his visit to Moon in an Apollo mission. Footprint is also visible in the photo which he clicked, and on the backside of the photo a message is also written by him. What would happen to the Earth if Moon crashes into the Earth? Would the Earth and Moon be ripped apart? But this is not the truth. The Moon is well outside the roach limit of the Earth. If somehow the Moon approaches roach limit of the Earth, it will be totally ripped apart. But there would be huge damage at the Earth also. However, parts of the Moon will form a ring around the Earth, just as the rings of Saturn. This is the elliptical orbit of Halley's Comet which appears around every 75 years in the sky. It takes more than 37 years to go away from the sun, and takes the same amount of time to approach near the sun. It last appeared in 1986, and will appear again, around 2062. According to NASA, the Boomerang Nebula is the coldest spot in the known cosmos, with a temperature of 1 degree Kelvin. 1 degree Kelvin is minus 458 degrees Fahrenheit or roughly minus 272 degrees Celsius. However, the minimum possible temperature in the universe is 0 Kelvin. On Celsius scale this is minus 273.15 degrees and on the Fahrenheit scale it is minus 459.67 degrees. In our solar system, Uranus holds the record for the coldest temperature of minus 224 degrees Celsius. This is how the Sun looks like, from one of the moons of Uranus. The asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter contains millions of asteroids, and looks is considered to be very dense. But the reality is that they hardly pose any threat to the spacecrafts passing through this area. Actually, the average distance between two asteroids is around 150,000 kilometers. Space looks far away to us. But if we could go upward in a car, we would have been able to reach the space in just an hour's journey. Within just four hours of journey, we would have been able to orbit the Earth also. Olympus Mountain is the highest mountain in the solar system. It is situated at Mars and has peak height of 25 kilometers. If we could travel to outer space in normal aeroplanes, it would take about 800 years to reach the planet Pluto which is now considered a dwarf planet. Remember that even light takes five and a half hours to reach from Earth to Pluto. Venus is the only planet in our solar system where one day is longer than one year. There might be trillions and trillions of grains of sand on Earth, but the number of stars in the universe are practically unlimited.